Hey everyone, I am OT Squirtle and today got a mail day that I have been waiting for for a very long time because not only did my Evolving Skies pre-order come in finally, I also got the Marnie box. I will not be opening the Marnie box in today's video, that will be for another day so I'll put that away for now, but I will be opening up my Evolving Skies booster box. I'm going to do this in three parts, so in each part I will be opening up 12 packs. I like to really enjoy uh, my booster boxes or my packs in general, so the reason I'm doing this in three parts is so that I can do it over three days, expand, you know, extend the fun. I'm not going to open, you know, a whole bunch of this stuff. I'm probably going to open this box, maybe an Elite Trainer box and a few single packs, so quite a lot of it obviously, yes, but I'm not opening like a case. So if I was opening a case, I might enjoy like one box over like a day and then, you know, rip a whole bunch trying to just get the, the really rare stuff, but no, but we're just here to enjoy the cards, look at what they do, maybe make a, a deck around our big pool. We're just here to have fun. Alright, so I haven't opened up a, uh, a full boost box since Darkness and Blaze technically, but I actually opened up a, a booster box of um, Battle Styles, but I kept four packs sealed, so that pretty much counts. And there we go, just like it comes in the store. If you can find them in the store. <laughs> Alright, so I've taken the 12 packs out so I can set the boost box aside now to give me some more space. In case you guys are curious why my pre-order just came in, and you're like, what the heck, this has been out for like a month. Uh, in Australia, this just came out on Friday, and my pre-order shipment was shipped on Thursday, but unfortunately it didn't come on Friday, so I had to wait the whole weekend, and now it's Monday and we can start. I'm just going to move these booster packs off camera here so I can access them easier. And uh, yeah, very first pack, Umbreon pack, one of my favourite Pokemon. I haven't, I've tried to avoid spoilers of what the cards look like in the set, but it's really hard because it, it comes out so much later here. So I have seen some of the, a couple of the uh, alternate arts, and I've looked at the checklist. Um, oh, I'll give away the first code here, because I just did, but I actually am um, starting to get into the TCGO game, just because I can't, you know, play with the actual cards because I'm in lockdown still, so I thought that would be a good way to practice with the new cards. And here we go. Obviously, it's going to be the same one, two, three, four card trick. This pack, first pack seems to have a little issue with the corners. So hopefully, uh, our box here isn't in this pack. Fire is the first energy. Scroll of the Flying Dragon. Sounds like it's made for a Quasar. Nice Fletchinder. Lantern. Zora Wild that we already got a sneak peek of. That's a nice Psyduck. I like that. Rufflet's a couple of flying Pokemon already. Drowsy. Flabebe. Reverse, Dwebel, very nice. And the first rare of the booster box is a Gigalith. Regular rare. I've actually run out of sleeves, so I'm going to have to use these terrible uh, EV sleeves here. These are just the worst sleeves I've ever done. In case you guys didn't get a shiny face elite trainer box, these are the sleeves you got with them. And they're just so much worse than they usually are. You, like, when you put a card in, you can actually like, barely see the card. Um, but just to protect the card until my proper sleeves arrive that I ordered, that's what we're working with. Pack number two. Obviously nothing mega exciting in the first pack, so hopefully we can improve upon that here. Herdia, Tyrol, very nice. Oh right, it's an uncommon. I was thinking, how is he a common? I forgot that. Obviously these are uncommons that you see first. Lilypop, Nicket. Nicket's been in a lot of Sword and Shield sets. Which I know makes sense because he's a Gen Pokemon. I feel like he's in like every one. Bergmite. Oh, that's a Kamea if I've ever seen one. Rock and Roller. Okay. Okay, my first Dragon, uh, first Sword and Shield Dragon card. We have a Reverse Dialga. Since it's a Reverse, I actually can't tell if this looks different to what they used to look like. It looks kind of different, but that might just be because it's Reverse. And that's obviously a rare Reverse. And a Tropius. Another regular way, but it's a pretty nice one. And there you guys can see the sleeve. From some angles, you can't even tell that reverse cards are reverse in these sleeves. For some reason, I always forget that that is Dragon. I just think of him as a Steel Pokemon. Pack number three, Rayquaza pack. Maybe that means that there'll be a Rayquaza in the pack. I will definitely take that. I haven't looked at the value of the cards or anything, or even what most of them look like, but I'm thinking that the uh, alternate art Rayquaza isn't gonna be a cheap card.
Alright, Melange, Hypno, Vigorous, Lombre, quite a few Gen 3 Pokemon in this set, I like that. Wobbuffet, Love Disc, the Irregular Dwebble, Hibbertas, next should be our Reverse, yes it is, Lantern, Uncommon, Reverse, and Rare, okay. So there is a dra Dragon Symbol on Dragon cards. So that's what the Dragon looks like. Uh, that might just because it's a Rare? I don't know. I'm going to see if Dialga has that. Obviously he's a rare too, but he's a reverse. No, Dialga doesn't have that. So, that's quite interesting that it has the little dragon symbol there. I'm just going to lower my camera here because I keep accidentally taking the cards off camera. So, this height should be a little bit easier for me. Water Energy, Tentacruel, Puppetoad, Shopping Center, Lotad, Emolga, very cool Emolga. Not quite sure what's going on in the background there. Rubit, Glossy Fleur, Phoebus, Reverse Braviary, that's obviously going to be a rare. No, it's not. Huh. Okay, well it's not obviously a you only got one evolution, but you'd think it would be. That's cool, I like the uh, background there. That, it took me, no joke, I think a whole day to find all the diglets, the all on diglets on that island. For the, um, the, uh, in the, in the expansion you have to find diglets if you haven't played it. <laughs> for some reason that island just took me forever. Oh, okay! And our first non-regular rare is a VMAX full art of Trevenant. That escalated quickly. I was happy with the Braviary. <laughs> that is a very nice card there. That is just the uh, regular art, I would assume. You guys can see the numbering there. 14 out of 203. That's a massive set. Now, so I think Unified Minds is going to be like 260 cards. That's insane. I assume that that's going to include secret rares. But, uh, yeah, these sets are just getting out of hand. Usually when there's something good coming in the pack, I can kind of see, because I accidentally see like the shiny border or something, but that completely took me by surprise. More of that, please. I don't think that Evolving Skies has any sort of set amount of stuff that you get from a box, because I've seen a couple posts on Reddit where people have opened a box and they've, oh nice. And they've had like, I think, three VMAXs. So I've seen some people who get like 20 uh, Vs and VMAXs from their box. It's just insane. That's a couple of nice cards to start the pack there. Mareep. First duplicate. Zorowa. Tentacle. Hopip. Dino. Reverse. Zinnia's Resolve. Pretty cool one there. And Ray. Altaria. Nice. Just a regular rare, but I like Altaria. I was just sleeving up my reverse in your resolve here, and this card is in pretty bad condition. It's got the top left corner's not great. There's actually widening. You don't see that on modern cards, like a lot of widening. That's concerning. It's amazing how many packs you're in a booster box. I feel like you've been opening packs for, for ages here, just having a great time. And I'm, I'm not even like an eighth of the way through the, uh, the booster box. Oh, that is an incredible slack off. <laughs> that is one of my favorite arts I think I have ever seen. That is fantastic. Definitely want to get a reverse of that. Oh, forgot to get the code card. I was so distracted by that slack off, I uh, I stopped the uh, the process of opening the pack. Okay. Braviary. Lucky Ice Pop. The goat slack off, greatest of all time. I don't think that he's a based on a goat. Just, just to clarify, <laughs> um, I'm actually going to put that in the uh, reverse and rare pile. Pet a little Pikachu. Oh, huh. you completely forgot that Pikachu was in this set. What a nice little surprise. Hello, Pikachu. Pumpkaboot, Rufflet. I think we have something coming up. Reverse Hopip, and the ultra rare is a Medicham V. 
This attack damage isn't affected by resistance. Decent. Our first regular V there. Alright, we're only halfway through the uh, first part here, and we already have a V and a V max, so I think it's going quite well. Shake, uh, another shell gun, rufflet, roll and roll, a few duplicates in this pack, a lot of duplicates in this pack. Ooh, swab blue, nice. Like that swab blue. Already have the Ataria, reverse Mareep, and a uh, regular rare Flapple. Another Ray Ray pack. I wonder if I'm going to get a hollow at some point. I believe Salamence is a hollow in this set, so I'll definitely want to pack that. We have our third Camille Rod and Roller here. So we're starting to see a lot of duplicates now. So we'll speed up the pack a little bit. See it up, there we go, it's new. Rubat. A reverse seismitoad, that will be a rare, yep. And a Talonflame, cool. Talonflame's just a regular rare. I believe Talonflame's other cards in Sword and Shield so far are fire types, that's cool to get a uh, flying type or colorless one. Umbreon pack. Question of the day for you guys have you opened any Evolving Skies? And if you have, what is your favorite card that you have managed to pack from it so far? Or if you're just a guy who buys singles, what is your favourite card that you've bought from the set? Help your token, that's new shopping centre. Eevee? This is a great Eevee. I already have this Eevee in Japanese, but it's awesome to have it uh, in English too. This is pretty much just a promo for the entire set, really. you got Rayquaza there. I love that they're doing these uh, cool common cards that have like legendaries in the background. They have it with the original birds. Uh, then there's obviously now this one with the Rayquaza, so really cool and I hope they continue doing that. Time Pole, what's another new one? Cuter Fly, this is just a pack full of new commons. Applin, that's cool. Sableye, that's really cool. Reverse Petalil, and a Seismitoad Regular Rare. Sylveon Pack, this pack it's weird. I feel like the, the last couple sets have been like really loose. It's very strange. You guys can see that. I think it's how... I prefer the packs to be tight because if they're loose then the cards are, are moving around inside and they're sort of grinding against each other and, and the size of the pack. So I don't think that's great for the, the quality of the cards. Lombre. Hypno, we already have Hypno. Cryogonal, that's a new one. Petalil, Bergmite, Drowsy, Reverse Shopping Center, and. Okay, another V, cool, Golurk. I didn't even know Golurk was in the set. That's a cool one. Golurk's a cool Pokemon. I just read Golurk's move here, that's insane. 180 damage and you de-evolve your opponent's active Pokemon. Wow. I assume that includes VMAXs. That'll be a bigger card in the past years, but like now, I'm pretty sure like every Pokemon is like basic now, so that's not a bigger deal as it used to be, but if that, I assume that includes VMAXs. I don't know why it wouldn't, so that's pretty cool. Another Rayquay pack here. So, the part one here, we already have a VMAX and a couple of Vs, so I think that's pretty much right on track with what you would expect, but the most surprising thing, easily for me, is that we haven't got a holo yet. I would really like to get a holo Salamence, so hopefully we can manage that at some point in this booster box. But you know, if all my holos are replaced with Vs and VMAXs, I'm obviously not going to complain. Kavanya. Amazing slack off. Reverse Rufflet, very nice. And a Thibel, regular rare. He's got himself a bit of a stash there, doesn't he? And then there was one, the final pack from part one of my Evolving Skies booster box. So 
so far I'm having a lot of fun uh, opening this. I'm kind of surprised at how many duplicate commons and uncommons we're getting because it's a set of 202. I think a lot of that must just be uh, the, the rares and auto rares and stuff like that. Alright, hip it down. Head cruel. Rubber gloves, that might be new. Lotad, that might be new actually. Tedios is definitely new, I'd remember that card. <laughs> Coragonal. Nicket. Dwebble, I believe this is Reverse Town. Reverse Litlio. I don't think we have a regular Litlio yet. And the rare is a Milotic regular rare. So no hollows in part one is quite interesting. So that does do it for part one of my Evolving Skies booster box. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please do leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more videos on this channel, including me opening up the rest of my Evolving Skies booster box, then please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.